So I'm super actually excited to have y'all because I cover Fuller House on our network. Oh, sweet. Awesome. So we have a bunch of y'all in. I'd love to see y'all coming again. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. At some point in time. I want to say I came in on the after bus. I believe yeah. you did before yeah. I got there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Our host, Annika. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Sony was talking about how y'all have some input on the following season to come. Well, I mean, you know. Well, slightly. Get a dish um, what y'all would like to see possibly with your character, Well, I think right? what Jeff, our creator, is just really good at is, is taking everyone's strengths and, and using them. Uh -huh. And he likes to take things that happen in real life, like what happened with Jody. And yeah. I'm sure uh, this season they'll find a way to uh, make it funny. Well, I know we're so. excited to visit your set, actually, soon enough, who you were with. Uh, her and I are going to be visiting set. Is there anything that has changed around set that maybe we can look forward to seeing? Um, and they got great food there. I don't <laughs> <laughs> so crafty? Crafty is wonderful. Um, I don't know. There's I mean, some surprises this season. I mean, nothing that we can reveal. But, yeah. uh, you know, we're trying to find this guy a home. Yeah, that's really? definitely you know? a change. So. Yeah, the RV, there's going to be some things going on with the RV. Because, you know, parking's very expensive in yeah, San Francisco. I believe that. I haven't visited only because I wouldn't know I wouldn't be able to afford the parking. Right, right exactly. Especially in San Francisco. Yeah. Especially there. Especially so. a double-wide 30-foot RV. Yeah, yeah, it's tough to find a place. A little bit like tougher. Premium rent yeah. in San Francisco. <laughs> you might as well be paying for an apartment or a home at that point. True, and then you have to go minimum wage. There's a whole bunch of things and factors right, right, into right, that. Right. So what's the greatest lesson you think was learned throughout any any season that y'all have had so far that you know not the newest one. Oh man lesson learned it's just been a lesson in fun really i mean these are just such warm welcoming people that have been i mean i'm sure you can you know being some of the new you know kids on the block they have just yeah. been so wonderful to us and like welcoming and it just it's humbling it's really humbling yeah. and it's motivating and it makes us want to carry the torch on yeah i believe that and uh, you know, do the legacy uh, right. So definitely, I know one of my favorite uh, episodes, especially, was during the competition for the Halloween party. I wanted to see, like, because the neighbors in competition, like, oh, who's gonna throw a better party? Yeah, oh, course. that was my favorite thing because I feel like we relate to that all the time oh, in LA. Sure. You know, everyone's in competition. It's competitive. Yeah, it's competitive. It's for fun, but uh, there is a winner. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah, totally. I think that's definitely. Uh, you know, in every backyard breaks out in a song and dance. Everyone's in right, right. <laughs> LA. That's, so that's very. I think that's apropos of DJ's yeah. character, who's always trying to make everything perfect and everything. She's got the foil with Stephanie, who likes yeah. to lay back. That was definitely Thanksgiving. Yeah. I remember she oh, was yeah. trying to keep it together when everything was falling apart. Right. And then Bob Saget, especially, was my favorite, just kind of like going through that midlife, midlife oh, crisis. Man. Yeah, so fun. Well, so what did fun. he do offset? Did he act any sort of way with that whole. No, option? those guys are so fun. The, the great thing about those guys is they like to have fun and goof around, but they're also like such trained professionals. They're technicians when it comes to comedy. So, yeah. you know, when they're around, it's. it's, it's it's, it's goofing around and having fun, but within like guidelines of being a pro, and that's what makes them special. And it's really, it, 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 it's, a, it's a work environment that makes it easy to, to do well and have fun. I believe Especially it. with them, because they've got so much ease. You know, they, they can land a joke 30 different ways. You're looking at the material and you're like, how did you come up with yeah, that? You know, true. but it's just so I was easy. with the guys at Workaholics recently, and they're so quick. I couldn't keep up. Yeah. I mean, do they even write on that show, though? Because to me, it's it totally just seems like it's... Oh, it is. Well, okay. No, it's not completely, but a but lot of it is. it seems like it is. Yeah. yeah. But I wish you guys the best of luck, and I'm excited to see the new season. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank y'all. Appreciate, appreciate it. it.